Marky on the mic. Sphere 24 is called Electronic Optical Magnetic Properties of Materials. It's a class about our modern world. Welcome back to Sphere 24. My homie's name is Batman, he's an awesome hero. You take a device, you, know, you, you pick this thing, um, and it's full of electronic optical magnetic structures. Nothing inside this device is from the classical world. Everything about this device is quantum. And the way we teach Sphere 24 is we start from the very basic and we teach them quantum mechanics and then solid state physics. And then on top of that foundation, we teach the material science of electronic optical magnetic properties. I like superheroes a lot. When I taught Zero to Four for the first time in the spring of 2012, instead of having a review session in the last lecture, we had a comic battle where all students had to create comics about the course materials, featuring as many concepts from the class as possible and superheroes from their favorite universes. We kept that tradition going, so all our midterms and finals are always written as superhero comic book novels. And in 2016, when I was asked to create MITx and edX class, we had to create an original universe because we didn't want to get into copyright troubles. So those are the problem sets. So basically we had all the lectures recorded, all problem sets available. When the pandemic struck and we had to go online in the residential platform, the in-person component was gone. That said, we had beautifully recorded lectures, and my thought was that students would be encouraged to watch the lectures, and then people come and discuss the lecture. That was a total failure. I showed up to my first online lecture. Uh, no one watched anything. So I switch on Zoom whiteboard, and I start giving my normal lecture. That was Monday. Wednesday comes up. Same thing. Friday. Same thing. So rather than trying to do any kind of enforcement, I polled the class and overwhelming majority preferred live lecture. And that was really surprising because I was essentially teaching a white blank page. And that somehow they still liked it better than watching the recorded sessions. It's too bad for you, Mr. Superman. Your laser eyes just won't do. We still maintained the design reviews. We still had them working in teams. We still held traditional closed book exams. Students loved Slack. A thing that I think made that Slack channel so active and so popular was responsiveness of the teaching team. Go back to Mathematica and run your code again. I had a graduate student TA to support the big computational aspect, the design reviews, and then I had two undergraduate half TAs that taught recitations. But I also had people who worked with me in previous years volunteered their time and joined that Slack channel so that they can answer more questions from more students. So I had a whole group of people wanting that class to succeed and they did as well, if not better than in previous years. I always love teaching because I get to interact with students and I get to experience their energy. If we watched them kind of struggle in front of us with a problem, we would have seen that moment of clarity. But it's really difficult to experience that on Zoom. It's a little bit ironic because we rely on the technology governed by everything we learn in that class. But it's real to four is just so much more than the material. It's growing up. It's taking something that's really, really hard and learning to work at a very different level of intellectual maturity. For me, at least, the community made all the difference because we all could help each other and realize that we're in it together. Save you now. Okay, we can save both sides, measure up. We 